This is episode 66 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 22nd, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve deep dive into four craft beers from Humble Sea, a lager, a hazy IPA, a sour IPA, and a pastry stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. You got your other host, Charlie. Yeah, yeah! We got tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello, hello. Steve is rocking it. And guys, so uh, today we're going to focus on one of our favorite breweries here on the on the show. On the West Coast. The Humble Sea. It is humble and it is sea. Humble Sea Brewing Company uh, hailing out of Santa Cruz, California. Don't they have a tap room in Pacifica? I believe they do. So there you go. They just reopened. So we uh, we have four beers today coming from uh, coming from them. Uh, first one, it's a lager. A lager. Uh, uh, lager. A Hellas lager. Uh, yeah, what the uh, Hellas is going on here? Uh, the authentic DDH. Uh, this is a double decocted, naturally carbonated, horizontal, horizontally lagered German lager beer with Hallertal mitten fruit hops. It's magical. Uh, so this was a, an award, you know, the award-winning best in show at the California Craft Brewers Cup. I wonder why uh, recently. it smells delicious. So they re-released this, and uh, um, I had I had ordered her up. It's one of my favorite beers they make. I'm gonna have to agree with you. This is like this is out of like a magical book or something of delicious beverages. Don't That's drink it. all that, Steve. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. I can't. You can't handle the double decocted. Uh, authentic Hellas. We've lager. previously had this on the show. We did. We did. Oh, um, it tastes great. But it's you know, golly, I think it's one of the best beers they make, and really, there's nothing, there's nothing to hide behind in that beer. Nope. Like that's just clean and crisp. And uh, man, you guys hit it hard. Gosh, I should have got a bigger. Super cup. tasty. Yeah, you have to go fast around here. You yeah. know, exactly. I know. We know how you get talk down. About that, <laughs> many Christmas. I'm telling you, that's some. Uh, Mm. That's some good stuff, man. That's that a really good beer. Good stuff. So this one you can pick up if you drive up there. They and... release it a few times a year. Yeah, they it's, just it's... released it because they, you know, the California after they won the California the best in show at the California Craft uh, Festival. The um, well, they don't they have it on tap? I mean, you would imagine that, right? You know, a lot of their lagers sell out super fast. Like all their, uh, um, they do the the authentic DDH, and then they do another. Uh, they do a bunch of. Lagers. Golly, they do some good beers. Excellent day. They do some tasty stuff, that is for sure. Now this right here, it to me, it's it's like party cup, you know. It's like uh Birdie the Bogey from North Park. It's that level of deliciousness. Yeah. So I mean these guys are rocking this, man. And I, you know what? Every time they make it, I'm gonna get some. So that's how, how good it is. Whenever I see it, I buy it. Yeah, and no, you can you can get their beers, not this particular beer right now, but when it is available, it is at uh, Bottle Crow. They send quite a bit of their stuff down there. Yeah, usually yeah. their their IPAs. Yeah. They don't send a whole lot of their. Uh, I never I've never seen these. Mm. Well, well, I haven't either, but I didn't go down there. We already had them. So. They usually post them. Yeah, they they usually post them on. Uh, you just, what do you got? You got like half a month before you can buy beer again, right? Or did you ruin that? I don't know, nothing. You didn't yeah. You didn't go uh, no by November, right? That's what you were going as. Yeah. At I least think. that was a character on, at Halloween you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've bought any beer recently. My, uh, I don't feel like my supply is getting any smaller either. Well, I can't help you with that. I'm just, I'm here to, I'm here to help if you want to drink those beers. You just, you know where I'm at. Bring I'm them on over. Yeah, I'm out of anything like crispy and tomando like sours and stouts well it's just, sometimes you gotta drink those you yeah. know it's delicious stuff you, we're gonna I get mean, they're all good beers we get through uh so hey speaking of getting through beers do you guys have anything uh any decent beers this week i did i'm gonna go with the light bright from beachwood brewing an ipa american all IPA. right 4.0 rating i forgot about that tap. steve yeah super great beers oh i did i had some third dose Tried to talk Chris into drinking another one, and he just he went, he tucked his tail between his legs and ran home. Some third dose we cracked. We did crack a. Uh, that was delicious. A third dose. Phenomenally good. I was, 
I was quite happy with it, to be honest with you. That was it. Yeah, that was a darn good beer. Um, that was really good, in fact. Somebody. Uh, probably the best beer that I had had this week as well. I was a little bit bummed out. I missed the uh, the the pickup uh, for that beer. Mm. Um, I had pretty high expectations of a few beers, but I was stranded on the side of the road. <laughs> I, you know what? If I'd have been thinking properly, I would have taken care of that for you. But uh, I was, um, I was, I missed the, I missed the boat. I was not. Uh, I did not perform well that week. No, you're you're fine. What's uh, what's the next beer you got here? We're going a little foggy. A little. Uh, this is called. The Off Fish. It's a double dry hop, uh, foggy, double IPA, 8.4%. It is uh, Humble Sea. Uh, it's got Strata, Simicone, El Dorado, and Sabro. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, they talk about the aromas of, of fresh, uh, fresh squeezed OJ, tangerine, pineapple. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing it. I'm seeing it. I'm believing it. I'm going to pour a little heavy because you guys got most of that last one. <laughs> should get it all in there. So this is one of the beers that that they uh, uh, that they'll sell through like their rotating series of of uh, hazy IPAs that'll show up down at Bottlecraft. Yeah, that's where I got this. Okay. Oh, that smells great. Awesome. It tastes fantastic. I mean, it's this. I don't know how they do it, man. I really don't. It's so originally what turned us on to that brewery was their hazy IPAs. Oh gosh, they're dangerous. I mean, you don't taste any of that percentage of uh, ABV on there. Gosh. Eight four and it tastes like a fluffy little marshmallow of loveliness, man. That's legit. Office. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow, that is. I could drink smooth. a lot of that. You know what I mean? Nice flavor, nice smell. That kick you in the head after about three or four of those. Though. Well, yeah. I mean, eight eight point <laughs> eight point four percent doesn't smell boozy. No, like uh, that's, that's the worst part about it, or the best, I guess. And it is just pillowy soft, not boozy at all. I mean, if you want to drink for Sweet. effect, a couple of those Be and it's golly. all over. It's just, whoo, man. That's yeah, good. no, that's tasty. I'm shocked at how decent it is. I mean, it's ridiculously decent. Let's put it that way. I mean, it, and they're coming up, you know, they're still going to fight through these names and stuff, but uh, that's. Uh, they got great names. They got the best, uh, some mean, of the best can art. Uh, oh, it is. I'm just saying it's, they they do it. They I don't know how they keep it up. I mean, they must have. Just nothing when they're on, when they have a day off. They're telling people to just think of things, you know, about fishing and fish and sea life. And mm -hmm. I'm sure a couple of these, and your kid probably get yeah. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have a uh, um, like the Kooks Club Facebook page mm -hmm. um, has a list. There's like a feed on there of mm -hmm. just lists, and there's like threads of like some of these you could go on and on, right? right? Okay. Like. Um, well, you probably got your fans doing them for you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So you have like the, you know, the kooks. I mean, there's a few hundred different names on there that were like sea life and, you know, like from mm -hmm. shows or whatever, right. you know. Some of them are pretty good. I, I think this is pretty dang good. Mm. To be no, that's a tasty beer. They they do, uh, uh, they do great. It's a great spot. Um, Santa Cruz is a really cool <laughs> yeah. city. Just yeah. look at this on the back of the can. Do you have any otters yet? Yeah, uh, they have one that's an otter. Mm. Oh, yeah. Outer this world or something? No, it's uh, <laughs> like sea otter, or... something otter. I I know what it is, mm -hmm. but this says on the back of the can it says beers, bears, and Battlestar Galactica. I love that. <laughs> I mean, it's just super cool. I mean, it's just a bunch of fish in an office, you know, on the can. And these are like, um, these are like really high tech can. This wrap here is not mm -hmm. like one you can take off. They did a few of them. Otter space. Uh, a space otter sea, yeah, space <laughs> otter otters. body uh, experience, <laughs> significant otter, hairy otter, otter nonsense. Right? <laughs> so, I mean, they Legit, just go on, yeah. and on and on. Real good names. I mean, they they rock it. I mean, they just got to sit around and laugh and talk mm -hmm. about those names. I mean, yeah. that's pretty pretty cool though. No, that place is great. I'm a fan. So, what do you think? Um, what you have? You didn't say anything about what you had. Uh, you know, another dose. I think is the. Um, I also had a uh, a can of uh, Modern Times Vanilla Stout, and mm. I, it's one of my favorite stouts. That Modern Times Vanilla Monster Park or Monster Park Vanilla, uh, in twelve the, ounce, in twelve ounce can, just by yourself. Yeah, hang out, pop that thing. Nice, cool down. Good call. It's, good. it's you know it's getting to be cold out at night. Pretty soon the got a little fireplace that I'll be firing up myself. The pit. There you go, the fire pit. You need a fire pit. 
That's what I got. Out in your backyard? I do. It's a little gas fire pit. Nice. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not <laughs> this. I'm not I'm not burning real wood over there. Oh, no, you're not. not. I'm burning glass beads is what I'm burning. Oh, plenty mm-hmm. of them, too, right? Just melting them down, making your own glassware. That's great. That's pretty cool. All right, gentlemen. Should we get on to this next uh, rock and roll reunion here, this uh, Humble Sea? Sure. So I'm going to um, shovel this down. There you go. Mm. So this this next uh, uh, beer is a beer. They they actually had this at the uh, the Mostra um, anniversary party, and um, unfortunately we were unable to unable to get a um, get a hold of any of it. But it's a barrel aged sour. How come we um, didn't get any of this? They didn't. I don't know if we had missed the the pouring or if they hadn't tapped it yet. Well, I can tell you why because there's a crap ton of other good ones that were there. That's there was why. a lot of. Uh, a lot of really good beer. They actually released an email about this beer specifically. What did it say? Um, it talked about uh, so all of yeah. Uh, it was like all of your kooks uh, blend five questions answered. Um, it talked about uh, <coughs> um, the brewing and the barreling process, the Brett socks portion. So this is a blend of Brett socks, right? Uh, socks and sandals being their mm-hmm. their IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, so Brett. Uh, uh, Brett Sox and mixed uh, fermentation quadruple IPA. Uh, so the Brett Sox portion, two thirds of the beer underwent primary fermentation and our clean fermentation vessels at sixty percent attenuation. A portion of that was pulled off and put into barrels with the addition of Brett uh, plus any. The quadruple IPA underwent a similar treatment. However, the house mixed uh, wow calls <laughs> was pitched and it's a good should have got a video of that. Yeah, wow. Uh, so Still the stock portion was barreled for six months, and the uh, the uh, the quad IPA was for, uh, barreled yeah. for ten months. It's still going. So Charlie's trying to dump it all out over here. Yeah. Shit, I'm not trying. It's, it's doing totally, it on its it, own. Uh, it exploded. It, it more than exploded. It just freaking fizzed this over. Is, this is what they talk about, and this is the part, <laughs> part I wanted to get to before we popped it open. <laughs> it says, refrigerate upright for at least 24 hours before opening, which we did. We did. It was upright, I think. Yeah. It, Apparently. Uh, it says, this is a live beer, and there will be some sediment in the bottom. Pour gently and avoid tipping the bottle perpendicular uh, to the ground and then upright again. And so <laughs> leave a small amount of the bottle unpoured so that the yeast does not come out. That's the best part. The um, <laughs> And if we fail at this, uh, then we, we'll we we'll have the next one to run at. But It's going to get real exciting real quick. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it. Oh, sorry. It's all right. That's fun. That's fun stuff. Dude, that's that gets it up and gets it down. Let me yeah. tell you, I'm gonna, wow. have to, I'm gonna have to step over to the uh, sink to uh, rinse my whole body. Little explosion there, huh? That, that thing, I I sucked about half of it. <laughs> then the rest of it just came gu- gushing through. Wow. It says, uh, um, if you followed uh, all of the instructions above and still lost a significant amount of beer upon opening, cool. send us a photo and we'll replace your bottle. <laughs> Which we did. That thing sat in there because we were going to open it last week, and then I we didn't get to it, and then I read this the next day, and I was like, oh, man. Um, it's we good. Did. I'll tell you that right now. It tastes great, though. Send him a photo, Chris. More than half. Yeah, there was... Uh, That's all right, though. Got a little, little on my phone. A little, little soured up on my phone. It'll be sticky later. Won't be dropping sure it will anywhere. Be. That's for sure. Yeah, that's... Uh, only ended up with, like, three... Uh, Small pours out of it. What? Uh, Whoa! What? Uh, <laughs> what Steve, <laughs> Steve is thinking like, oh, that's like too too many. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I oh. like it. Oh, it tastes much better than it smells. Does it? Yeah. So, what so it got, definitely smells funky. What What's do they that? got in there? Uh, it's it's Brett uh, socks. Okay, I know that. Yep, and then uh, the other one was their quad IPA, a mixed fermentation quad IPA that had no both fruit been, in it at all. Nope, had both wow. been barrel aged. That's and, weird. Then both barreled six and ten months, respectively. What am I tasting? Pineapples and uh, citrus. I don't know. What kind of barrels? It doesn't say what type of barrels they mixed them in. Probably Um, white white wine. French white wine barrels. Mm. Uh, Just all natural, uh, neutral oak. Oh, okay. But it says, uh, yeah, uh, aroma is going to be Buddha's hand, pomelo, pineapple, and gummy bears. I got pineapple. Flavors of overripe pineapple and candied lemon. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll go Mouth there. Mouthfeel mm-hmm. bright with rounded acidity from the oak characters. It's like actually a, pretty tasty. Like yeah. a, like a kinda, citrusy lifesaver. One of those. Yeah. Kind of, you know, kind of mm-hmm. it goes on and on. It's, I, I didn't have super high expectations. I'm not a big, big uh, sour IPA fan. Hmm. But the uh, it's actually pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'd like another bottle that doesn't explode on me, you know, that I'm spewed out over here. I, I vented it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have one more of those. Mm. Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want to give it as a joke. Just no. Give it to somebody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shake it up. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to pop it for uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Point it. Point it at somebody you don't like. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I've, I've seen a couple of those happen. I mean, I, I can't remember which other one. One of the other uh, larger bottles we had here was uh, exploded on us uh, one time. I've had a can pop, you know, a real uh, big 32-ounce mm. uh, answer can blew up blew up on me, and it was, uh, it was yeah. everywhere. Excuse me. It scattered. Let's put it that way. That thing was strewn all over the walls in here. But this is delicious. That is pretty tasty. It, I was, I was, at first I was, you know, cause I'm just, you know, chugging foam for yeah. 30, 40 seconds. Uh, Sour IPA. Well, who knew? But the beer part of it tastes awesome. Yeah, I like it. I don't really get a smell out of it. It just smells like a sour. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. You know, it's, it's way, it's, I'm going to say it's better than I had expected. Oh, I yeah. didn't have very high expectations at all, but I could totally, uh, I think it's a, uh, um, I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm all right with just a couple ounces of that guy, yeah. you know. I, I'd have a tough time drinking that whole bottle. I don't think know? I would. Maybe over time. I, don't, I had a tough time sucking down the first uh, three quarters of that, <laughs> obviously. Uh, yeah. Half of it's over here. Goodness. Uh, good thing we didn't electrocute ourselves. Well, yeah, I was I was, I was, was avoiding the uh, the club. Okay. So. Well, that would only make our... Uh, our uh, Shocking. Yeah. Shut us down. Yeah, <laughs> clunk clunk. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty tasty. I'd like to get that without any foam. So the thing now is to uh, decorate your uh, a wall in your house with all the labels mm-hmm. from the beers you drink. Okay, I have a few of those up on my wall. Yeah, not, not like in a, any good order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're happening yeah. quite often. So the Davis has got some. So mm-hmm. they've got quite a few. They're starting to move towards. A turn, you know, mm-hmm. wow. on the wall. So That's a lot. I picked up some some good labels for them uh, on some other beers, but uh, let's get them out there to Las Vegas. All right, you ready to rock on this one? Yes, I am. We so the are, other thing uh, I uh, visited when I was up in Long Beach was the Bottle Craft. Is yeah, that, oh is that yeah, the, did you check it, it out? At yeah, that? it's How at a, it? it's at a um, a hangar that's a lot like Liberty Station uh-huh. with food courts and stuff. And so, yeah, it was great. Yeah. The really friendly, super helpful people. And just like the other ones, you could yeah. have a beer right yeah. there. And the, the beers weren't, the beers that you bought were behind like the bar. So if you really wanted something, you really had to either ask or go look like across. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like the bottle cross here where you, like they have all the beers. Sure. It's not at Liberty side. Station? No, like this the is one the one in Long Station. Beach. No, but it's yeah, not like it, the one there. It, it looks like that, but the, but you can go walk up to the beers in cans. And look at them all. This the cans in the, that were for sale, and the bottles that were for sale were back behind the bar area. Yeah. So, um, so you LA? couldn't. Yeah, it was, you couldn't just peruse what they yeah, had. Yeah. You sort of had to either know, and maybe they've been posting them online, and people knew because mm-hmm. some lady came up. I was right there and said, "Hey, can I get this, 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 and this?" They said, "Yeah," but she, right. how she knew that? I was like. When sure. I got back to my seat, I was like, "How'd she know that?" Because you couldn't. I mean, unless you're looking right for a party cup, I don't know how you'd know what it was. <laughs> sure, right. Yeah. Did you see anything interesting there that you wanted to? No, not to see. Really? I mean, I just tried beers. So. Mm-hmm. You know what? I wish we could get some uh, green cheek down here. You probably can. You got uh, if you can get beers from breweries in Iowa, I'm sure you can get green cheek. I don't cheek. know. I don't know. Have you, do they ship beer? They're right up the road. I know, but. Do they ship beer down here? Uh, it would be the... I don't know about a keg, but... No, not a keg. I mean, How much are you trying to get? Oh, they ship beer. Oh, they do? Yeah. You can actually go in... Did I, I just ask you? Well, I thought... <laughs> Wait for some reason, I thought Chris, you were like on the kegs. Chris, what have you done with the real Chris? Yeah. No, they, they totally... I wasn't paying attention. I was over here... Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Scrolling uh, through, through your Facebook, Facebook page, taking. No, I was like, <laughs> I was trying to figure this uh, this other thing out. Yeah, but buying the, some cryptocurrency. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the um, you know, you totally can. You, they actually have a really cool uh, 
uh, user interface. You choose different beers. You're like, um, I'll take one of this, one of this. It's a picture of each one. You're, you know, you got six spots. You're like, hey, I'll take this one, this one, this one, this one. This wow, one. So you can you mix a whole pictures. six pack. Yeah, you can. Wow. You can do a half. Uh, you can do three. Uh, I think it's like twenty and thirty five dollars to ship, maybe for a half or a full. Nice. So you're, you know, a little okay, I'm on a little it bit. now. Now I'm on it. You know, It'll be get, shipping beer to your house. Got to get a. Uh, got to get like a somebody heading up that way. We, but, we yeah. used to know somebody that yeah. had it in there. I didn't realize that there was a. One right off the 405, and then there's one up north. Yeah. So I didn't go. There's like two. Yeah, there's yeah, two so there's of them. There's one that's right off the 405 in the that's, 70, that's 73. That's the one, yeah. That's oh, the yeah. one I should have stopped at, but I didn't I think that's the burger place. So that's where we got the burgers that's, that's right. right. Yeah, the original one is the other one. Yeah, and I thought when I looked it up, I saw only the original one, and that oh, was, right. that's out of my way. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't stop. That's a bit further. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah, if you get the opportunity, I highly recommend it. They put out phenomenal beers. The uh, No, they're great. All right, gentlemen. All right, Charlie, pop that last beer, that uh, maple coconut narna. Hey, no foam. Yay. So this oh, is a collab. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be good. Let this me is a tell collab you with one of, one of Charlie's favorites, uh, Pure Project. Pure Project. Pure. It's an imperial stout collab with Pure Project, conditioned on maple syrup, coconut, and vanilla. Narnar. Ooh, smells great. Oh, that maple is just jumping out of that bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Is that tasty? Wow, man. You want to talk about caramel corn? <sighs> Ooh, man, it tastes good. I think this beer has been, been around for a minute, you know, probably coming up on close to a year. Oh, it's perfect, Chris. Is it all right? Oh, man. It's right up there with that um, that banana one we got from them that was <laughs> lights out. You remember that? Uh-huh. What was that called? Uh, banana coconut nar nar. No, there was another one. <laughs> Banana times two. <laughs> that was probably it. But yeah, there was another one too, man. It was that, you know, remember it had that like paintbrush wash through the label and everything? Hmm. I'd have to feed back like 20 years on my uh, phone to find it. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good. Chris, hmm. remember when we bought them and then we were like, oh my gosh, and we checked and saw... That there were more available, and I bought four more. That was um, that wasn't Narnar. No, it wasn't. That was pastry mode. No, yep. not pastry mode, but paste. What was it? Um, wow, it might have been pastry mode, but gosh, had bananas in it. It was so wicked, so good. This thing is just this is really good, phenomenal. We should drink this every weekend. <sighs> you imagine? Is it all right? That's been sitting in my. Uh, gosh, it's a good sitter. Man, one year. If I, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through all my bottles. If I have one of those, I'm drinking it all by myself. There you go. What if the ABV? It's probably jacked. I'm super jacked up. It's so sweet. It's eleven percent. Gosh, it's like a trip. Mm, mercy, that is out of bounds, man. Let me tell you. Oh, it smell. You can smell the maple syrup oh, on, so on the nose, but I mean, when you taste it, it tastes like caramel popcorn to me. Mm-hmm. It's another one of those ones that should be a uh, an infused oil. <laughs> pastry wave was the name of it that was it it was awesome this is better than that i think wow that's really mapley it is but it's like caramely maple it is yeah the uh it's just soft enough that it cuts that really is um like really uh sugar soft yeah i mean it's yeah a candy like yeah mm-hmm. back end. oh yeah man that is re- that's if you got these you want to drink them now yeah, it is tasting really, really good. And I think I have one. So if it's a Narnar, we're going to have to crack it with Dardar. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's pretty uh, That's pretty all right. I'm still a fan. After, you know, so so I guess what I found is after four beers from Humble Sea, I'm still a uh, Humble Sea fan. Oh, for sure. Dang on it. <laughs> so the, so we, had, we had the four beers. Mm-hmm. Um, we had the, the DDH. We followed that with the the offish, uh, the 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 foggy IPA. Uh, we we came behind that with the wild IPA, the Kooks uh, the Kooks Blend Five. Yeah, but we're not that, talking enough about this. this and is, then that's uh, how good this is. When coconut nar nar. Mm-hmm. So here's the deal: we're gonna get my bottle of this. We're gonna take the nar nar and drink it with Dar Dar, <laughs> watching Jar Jar. <laughs> there you go. That is all Star Wars. And Narnar and Dardar. 
<laughs> all together. <laughs> there, there you go. I'm rocking it. That's how it's going to happen. Trust me. I know. I'm no, this is it. this is uh, certainly tasty. Very, this very I'm, uh, this is my. I'm going to have to say it's right up there with with our favorite. <laughs> but you know, they also have cocoa and nibs. Cashew and nips. Cashew and nips yeah, is really, really good. good. That's yeah. really good too. And I have a can of that in there just yeah. hanging out. I'm a big fan of like um it's just the, the sweetness. Like the mm. uh um like I can deal with a little bit of it. That's the problem I have with like uh maple syrup, I think. Mm. Uh um, yeah, but this is so, so soft. No, it is. It's really good. I mean some of them are just like overloaded, decadent, you know, super rich. This is rich, but it's like just a super subtle soft rich oh man i'm i'm excited steve what was your favorite beer um i'm gonna go to desert island thing we didn't and I'm drink go, that what are you talking i'm gonna about? go on the i'm gonna go with that pilsner just because oh I the thought, dvh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 if i had to drink one every day for the rest yeah. of my life that would be yeah you could go there i don't know i might have to do this, this. last one was I'd i mean die of being a diabetic but. yeah this one was pretty amazing <laughs> it was good but too much like i'm wishing i i had some more of that uh that DDH to, to pour down oh, after this. Oh man, thing. I don't know. Let me think a second here. Um, I mean, the hazy was good too. The hazy was great. Yeah. I mean, that's dangerous in itself that that. And I'm glad I t- tasted a sour IPA because I would have never tried them before. And especially after you, if if, if I knew what the, all the dangers that you. <laughs> well, to be honest, right. with you, I tasted most of it. <laughs> 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 oh, that was. Was Don't explosive. open this with your left hand. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, yeah, for sure. <laughs> open in a visqueened room. No, over a sink for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the DDH as well. I think you know, you know as what? far as the, my favorite of the three beers. I'm going to shock you guys. You going? You going this? Yeah. Maple. Yeah. Cocoa. Yeah. Narnar. This it's, is one of the best stouts we've ever had. That is lights out. It's pretty okay. darn good. I'm I'm a fan. I've always been a fan of these guys ever since the first beer I tasted from them, and this this just doubles me down on them. I mean, even that foamy <laughs> IPA, the sour IPA that we drank. I mean, that was good, but I mean, gosh, amazing, amazing, amazing beer. Well, there it is. I, mean, I guess we we ran the gamut of of, of their styles. We went lager, we went IPA, sour, and uh, and hazy. Uh, followed by a stout, and I, I think uh, you know all of them were were pretty tasty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Humble seas. We should drink some more party. of their beer. I think we will after potty. Till then, cheers. 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 Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.